Good morning, children. Today, we want to find out the equation of energy of a charged capacitor. But before that, we know that the function of capacitor and the function of mobile battery is just same. Not exactly same, just same. Right? So, instead of capacitor, we find out the we find out the energy of a battery. If you get that energy, the same energy which is applicable for the capacitor. Right? So for that. First of all, we want to take one of the batteries. Suppose this is the mobile battery. This is the mobile battery. Initially, this battery is a fully deep charge. It means that inside this battery, the number of charges is zero. That's why their potential is the constant. But our target is we want to charge this battery fully. Right? In that we want to deposit the number of charges here. The number of charges is that which is equal to the capital. When in this battery the Q amount of charges is deposited, at that time the value of potential is the capital. Right? But this is not happen directly. When we when we give the potential to the mobile battery or that capacitor, then at that time that capacitor or mobile is charged step by step. That charging is there or progressed. That is one percent, two percent, three percent, four percent, up to the hundred percent. Suppose here, if we give the potential and that battery or that capacitor is charged up to this one. In that up to this one, that battery or capacitor is charged. At that time, the number of charges is deposited or stored inside this battery or capacitor, which is equal to the due to the charges, the other potential is equal to the right. So this is the intermediate stage. So what is the equation at? Intermediate stage. What we get the equation? We know the formula of capacitance. Capacitance which is equal to the charge upon potential. So therefore, potential V which is equal to the charge upon C. Right? Suppose this is the equation. If in that this much amount of potential is produced inside this battery. Right? Into the number of charges that is a small one. But our target is we want to fill this battery of capacitor up to the hundred percent that is up to the charge is capital Q. Right? But what happens if the number of charges which is here, here the Q amount of charges already existing inside the battery or inside the capacitor, and again you want to deposit the small charge. Then what happens? This existing charges produce their own field. So that field opposes to the new charge. Right? Here new charge is DQ. Means if we want to deposit the small charge DQ, then for that, that existing charges which apply the opposing force. Right? In that the charges is opposing to the opposes to the for to deposit the new charge. But Deposit the charge DQ. So, what happened if you deposit the charge DQ, then the amount of work is done for to deposit for to deposit the charge charge DQ. Then the work is done. Then work is done. And the value of work done, dW, which is a required term. We know the formula of work done. That is electrical potential into the charge. Here, at this stage, 
the value of electrical potential is d. And now we are we want to deposit the small charge d. Right? So yeah, the value of d is what we get there. Q upon c. So d w, which is equal to the q upon c into the d q. It means that we want to deposit the small charge d q. Then this much amount of work is done. Suppose this will be the equation number. But our target is we want to deposit the total number of charges in the field. So there we want to find out the total work done. And this work done, which is stored in the form of potential energy. And that potential energy is nothing but the electrical energy of a capacitor. Right? Now this will be the small work done for to deposit the small charge. But now we are going to deposit the number of charge, that is the large charge. So that's why we are going to find out the total work done. For, for, for full charge the battery, for full charge, full charge the capacitor, capacitor, their total work is done. There, total work is done. Then the value of total work and W which is equal to what we get there. So W which is equal to the integration from here we want to uh, deposit the charge from Q which is equal to 0 to Q which is equal to the capital Q. Right? And now we are going to get there simply uh, here DW. Here the value of Kw is this one, substitute that. So we get the integration from charge which is equal to 0 to Q which is equal to the Here the value of Kw is Q upon C into the D. In this case, the value of the capacitance is given same. So take outside. So what do we get there? 1 upon C integration from Q which is equal to 0 to Q which is equal to Q of Q D Q. Right? Here, yeah. what we get is just like the integration of x dx. And we know the rules of integration. Here, yeah. due to the integration, the power of variable quantity is increased by 1. And we want to divide d to the same quantity by the new power. Right? Here, yeah. existing power is 1. So, then we get the new power is 2. So, what we get there? So, this 1 upon c is as it is. And the integration of q d q is what we get there? Q square upon 2 and now we are going to substitute the element. Right? So what we get? We are in this one. So total work done W which is equal to Here what we get there? 1 upon 2C and here what we get there? So Q square. So limit is from 0 to capital. Now first of all we want to substitute the upper limit. Then we want to substitute the lower limit. Therefore, work done which is equal to the 1 upon 2c so here capital Q square minus 0 square. Right? So we need to find the total work done which is equal to the Q square upon 2c. And now we have this work done is stored inside the capacitor in the form of potential energy and the same energy which is also called as the electric energy. Right? This is the one of the form of the energy of the charge of the capacitor. So, we get energy Q which is equal to the half of Q square upon C. So, this will be the first form. Now, this will be the equation number 1, equation 2, and now suppose this will be the equation number 3. Now, other form of the potential, uh, this uh, energy of the charge of the capacitor. We know that. C which is equal to the what we get there, charge upon potential. Right? Now substitute this value. So what we get? Energy which is equal to this half is as it is. The, uh, Q square is as it is. And the value of C is what we get there. Q upon D. What we get there? One can get cancer and transfer this way to the So what we get there? Energy which is equal to the half of Q into the D. Again, this will be the other form of the energy of a charge with capacitor. Now, in this one, we substitute the value of Q. Here what we get? 
from this equation what we get here q which is the equal to the c now substitute this one so u which is the equal to the half is as it is what we get here q square means there c square v square and again here what we get here simply c so one c get cancelled so finally what we get here half of c v square again this will become all the form of the energy of a charge capacity see all the equation once right so this is about the energy of a charge capacitor thank you